Hello world, it is Thursday, August 31st, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance. It's a beautiful sunny day today, uh, cool, and uh, expected to be, I um, think, about 75 today is a high, but gradually warming temperatures over the next few days and getting pretty hot, so enjoy this while you can. The devotion for today is entitled The Sandwich Generation by Rachel Hackenberg. Rachel bases the devotion upon uh, the, ex exerted, excerpted verses from Exodus chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. These are the names of the sons of Israel who came to Egypt with Jacob, each with his household, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. Then Joseph died and all his brothers and that whole generation. And then Rachel writes, The generation of Joseph, all the children born to Jacob, migrated from Canaan to Egypt to save their lives from the ravages of famine. The generation of Moses, all the children born under the protection of Shipra and Pua, migrated from Egypt to Canaan to save their lives from the ravages of slavery. The generations between Joseph and Moses, however, all those children born into the ruthless world of Pharaoh without God's reprieve, they were the sandwich generation of ancient Israel in Egypt. They were the ones trapped in limbo between the starry dreams of Joseph and the fiery visions of Moses. They were the ones who stepped in to relieve their elders from the whips of overseers who hid their babies from the spears of soldiers. They were the ones who groaned through the day and were too tired to dream in the night. The sandwich generation, the ones who live pinched between others' dreams and others' needs, the ones whose work is survival in the meantime, a heart-wrenching task, an exhausting and unglamorous state where mercies are few and far between. But the work of survival is a pursuit no less holy than the pursuit of a dream. Even if it lacks the glamour of stars and burning bushes, it is the work of being rooted to a wellspring that drought cannot drain. It is the work of holding faith over cynicism, joy over withdrawal, compassion over fear. It is hard work, but it is not without good news. And Rachel's Prayer. For the ease of the weary, for the strength of the surviving, for the reprieve of the sandwiched, we pray to the one who listens. Amen. Well, for me, you know, this devotion brought to mind all those people who struggle with their lives in ways that most of us, speaking for myself, I guess, uh, can't even imagine. Um, their day-to-day -day living is a struggle, and um, just simply to survive sometimes can be the only thing that they can do or take each day as it comes. Um, many of and many of those people work hard to ensure that their children and their children uh, will have a better life and won't go through the hardships that they've gone through. And then sometimes those children and grandchildren forget and don't realize, um, which is why it's important for us, I think, to know history. All the struggles that um, people before us went through, not to make us feel guilty or bad, but to... Um, help us to remember and to ensure that, uh, or do what we can to ensure that um, some of those difficult times are not repeated and no one has to go through those again. <clears throat> and in a way, I kind of see that as the story of the um, faith of the Jewish people, their traditions, remembering uh, what their people went through and um, celebrating and, and thanking God for their survival in spite of um, the horrific conditions in which they lived and traveled. So anyway, those are my thoughts for the day. You may get something different out of it, um, and that's okay. But um, today is also Thursday, and I wanted to make sure that I invite you to, to join us for worship on Sunday at 1030, either on Facebook Live or on um uh, in person at 950 Webster Street in Defiance, Ohio. Uh, worship starts roughly about 1030. Some music starts about 1015. Announcements are about 1027. And as soon as the announcements are over, we begin our worship. Um, and it's always recorded and posted both on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So 
if you want to, if you don't have time at 1030, you can always join us um, later and um, participate via the recorded service. Hope you have a good day and uh, hope you can enjoy some of this cooler weather we're having before it gets really hot and hope to talk to you soon.